Hello, thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a simple tutorial on a basic image classification using CNN in TensorFlow. Let's get started. As I said, this video is going to be a simple tutorial on a basic image classification using CNN in TensorFlow. Image classification is a fundamental task in vision recognition that aims to understand and categorize an image as a whole under a specific label. Unlike object detection, which involves classification and location of multiple objects within an image, image classification typically pertains to single object images. This task involves training a machine learning model to recognize patterns and features within images that correspond to specific classes. The most commonly used models for image classification are convolutional neural networks or CNNs, which are particularly effective at capturing spatial hierarchies in visual data. The process begins with the collection of a labeled dataset where each image is tagged with a corresponding category label. For example, a dataset might consist of images of cats, dogs, and birds with each image labeled accordingly. The CNN model is then trained on this dataset through a process called supervised learning. During training, the model learns to identify distinctive features of each category, such as the shape of a cat's ears or the texture of a bird's feathers. A CNN consists of multiple layers including convolutional layers, pooling layers, and fully connected layers. The convolutional layers apply filters to the input images to create feature maps, which highlight various aspects like edges, textures, and shapes. Pooling layers reduce the dimensionality of these feature maps, making the model more efficient and robust to variations in the input data. Finally, fully connected layers take the high-level features extracted by the convolutional and pooling layers and use them to make the final classification decision. Once the model is trained, it can be used to classify new unseen images. When a new image is input into the model, it processes the image through its layers and produces a probability distribution over the predefined set of classes. This distribution indicates the likelihood of the image belonging to each category. The model then assigns the image to the class with the highest probability. In this video, I will be using convolutional neural network to classify CIFAR images in TensorFlow. The CIFAR 10 dataset consists of 60,032 by 32 color images in 10 classes, with 6,000 images per class. There are 50,000 training images and 10,000 test images. Let's go to Python and see the code. Okay, here's the code for this video. As you can see, I'm using Google Colab to run this code. First, I'm going to be importing TensorFlow. And then from TensorFlow Crest, I'm going to be importing datasets, layers, and models. And I'm going to be using Matplotlib to plot the results. And here, I'm going to be loading the data, the train and test images with their labels. And then I'm going to be normalizing the data so that they would be between 0 and 1. The normalization of the data is very important in neural networks. Okay, let's run this one first. The data is being downloaded. Okay, the first part is done. Let's go to the second part. In this one, I first I'm going to be assigning the class names, and then I'm going to be showing you guys some of the images. Let's run this one too. Here it is. These are some of the images. Horse, bird, truck, and so on. Now here's the model. I first I'm going to start with the convolutional layers. Let's do this. Let's run it. As you can see, we first have convolutional layer, and then max pooling, and then another convolutional layer, and then another max pooling, and then lastly, one more convolutional layer. Now I'm going to be adding the fully connected layers. This one is going to be on top of the convolutional layers. And as you can see, the last layer has 10 outputs because I have 10 classes in my data set. So each output is going to be a likelihood indicating the likelihood of the input image belonging to a specific class and the highest probability would specify the input image class. And this is where I'm going to be compiling my model, and this is where I'm going to be fitting my training data set to my model, as you can see here. Okay, I forgot to run this one. Let me run this one as well. The, this is the fully connected layer. As you can see, the model is complete here. And let's compile the model and also fit the data. And as you can see, there are 10 epochs. So the training data set is being fit to my model. Okay, let's go to the next part. In this part, we're going to be plotting the accuracy for each epoch. And also, we're going to evaluate the model on the testing data set. And we're going to be reporting the loss and accuracy for the test data set. At the end of it, I'm just going to report it in a more fancy way. Let's first run this one. As you can see, this is the accuracy for the training data set. And this is the accuracy for the validation data set. 
the validation data set here is the same as testing data set. It doesn't matter for the purpose of this video. But as you can see, the accuracy is going up in each epoch, which is what you want to see. And the test accuracy is 0.71, which is not bad. Considering we only use 10 epochs, the accuracy of 71% is not that bad. You can also access the code using the link in the description section of this video. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and you were able to get something out of it. If you liked it, I would appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and also share the video with your friends. Thank you so much and have a nice day.